Greetings, theists and non theists. I am the Atheist Paladin. Um, I'm responding to a fairy blast on uh, the, the moral issue that he brought up on the healthcare. Uh, the, the reason I got upset about his comment is that he pretty much did everything I said not to do. So it felt pretty much like an insult going, nee, 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 nee. And that's why I said it was a stupid thing to do. Now, as far as um, the moral issue, I don't like talking about why um, this is moral and that is not moral. And he's, and he's sort of right about it. my experience with other Christians led me to this conclusion. But regardless how I came to this conclusion, I still believe that it is correct. The reason because if you say, oh, this is immoral and that, that is not moral, it, not only that it is a manner of which you're sort of kind of talking down to your opponents to, but then you have to get into a lot of nitty-gritty ethical if issues. You have to say, well, why is this on what ethics or moral principles do you say this is wrong? and and doesn't this system which I'm promoting also adhere to that and you're not really talking a lot about um, health care when you do that there are ways to actually talk about how it's moral with not actually saying it you can say well socialized health care is better because it's better for society overall because what else is morals for it's for the betterment of society and also the protection of the individual. So you start talking about the facts centered around uh, those sort of issues. So that way you can talk about morality not without really saying it. And I've, by doing it that way, I think it is more productive than just saying, well, if you deny people health care, um, that simply is immoral and, and socialized care is better than that, so it's, therefore it's more moral. Um, I don't think that's really a productive talk. Um, secondly, I'm not really for people not receiving health care. That's why I made the video. I really want everyone to have health care and, and get the things that they need. But I go about uh, doing it in a different way. I think the free market uh, is better providing would be better providing that sort of uh, care than a socialistic system. Uh, there are reasons that's why I prefer I'm not against a socialistic system per se, but I think there are certain areas that I value. Um, it simply delivers um, better all, overall. So that's why I support capitalism over socialism in that situation. Now he says uh, he made a quick um, hint at my uh, why I shouldn't uh, we, why we shouldn't need an amendment for health care. Now he uh, points to the for the uh, general welfare of public on uh, the uh, the uh, delegated duties of Congress as a reason say that see that that was what gave Congress the right to uh, to handle health care well when you look at at the context in which in the Constitution is written at that time health care didn't really exist it's really you know putting leeches on you uh, it the technology in the health care industry has come a long way since then and I don't think it was ever the intent of the uh, general welfare clause to ever deal with health care. Um, it was just simply put there for a just a sort of like a flexibility clause to deal with emergencies. Another reason why I don't think that is good enough is that in the amendments it says ever any uh, powers not delegated to the federal government are reserved by the state. That's why states uh, mostly have different laws in each state regulating health care because of that. And I think that's the re it's killing us. And that's why I say we have to make an amendment to make this, cl this matter 
crystal clear. There is no more state level um, laws. It is all federal now. There's all going to be one set federal standard for everything in order to properly regulate the, uh, the, the healthcare industry. If we don't do that, I think, if we don't do that, I think any healthcare reform that neglects to do that really won't uh, succeed because in the end, states will still be able to, okay, do whatever the heck they want. So, um, I think there needs to be a amendment that actually states that, you know, healthcare is no longer a state issue, but is now specifically delegated to federal powers. So, that's my thought. So, I hope you enjoyed. So, peace. Take care.